They're by the door if you need extra. <clears throat> okay. I really like these pages because other than word problems, everything we've done in this unit is on this page. Slope intercept form is 2, 1. Point slope form is 2, 2. Standard form is 2, 3. We're dealing with slope, intercepts, tables, graphs, equations, and what do you see down at the bottom? Parallel and? This down here, the equation part, is a complete review of the whole chapter. Again, minus word problems. I can't just look at that slope and zero, two, and figure out what the x-intercept is. I have to do some other things first. So there's no doing this in any specific order. Take what you know and start building on it until it's complete. What I know from the beginning is I can fill in this equation, can't I? What goes in this circle here? Negative five. I regret how small these circles are. They're intended to show you where the blanks are, but they are kind of tiny, and I realize that. What's my y-intercept? Negative two. Negative two. Is that a point? Yes. yes. I have that and I have the slope. That means I can graph it. I can either go up five into the left one or I could drop down five and over one. <clears throat> Either way, negative five as a slope is a really steep line, isn't it? Do you notice what happened when I graphed that? I found two other points, didn't I? I'm going to zoom in so we can get those points. This is negative one, one, two, three. And this is positive one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can we see what's happening in the rule here yet? We know it from this equation down here. Negative five times x minus two is my rule. How do I know that? Because it's in slope-intercept form. This, this is my y, yes? yes? If this is what equals my y, then it's the rule of what's happening here. Let's try it with the numbers that we have. Negative five times zero minus two, does that work? Negative five times negative one is positive what? Minus two. Negative five times one minus two. Can I find more points then? Let's put in 2. What is negative 5 times 2? Minus 2 is going to get me? Does that make sense with my line? Here's positive 2. Negative 12 would be further down, wouldn't it? Let's try negative 2. Negative five times negative two is gonna give me 10, minus two, eight. Honestly, I don't think you have to fill this whole table in, but try to get about five sets of pairs in there. Does this one make sense with what we know? There's negative two, there's positive eight. Do we have our x-intercept? 
It's somewhere between zero and negative one, isn't it? So I'm gonna hold off on that. I can't fill this in yet because it looks like my x-intercept is somewhere in between. And I, if I say that it's one, negative one half, I might be off because look at where it's crossing my line. Do any of your lines look a little bit different than mine? If your ruler is like a partial millimeter away from where mine was, it could look slightly different. Can we fill out point slope form? Yeah, do we know what the slope is? Do we have points? If I look at this one, this x is negative one, so when I put it in here, it's gonna become positive one. And this y is three, so it's gonna stay negative. I want standard form. How do you guys think we should get it? Which of these equations is already pretty close to standard form? I think slope intercept is closest. You can get it from either one, but I think this one's easiest. Y equals negative five X minus two. <clears throat> How do I get that into standard form? Five X plus Y equals negative two. What did I put in this circle before the y? Why? Because really when I did it up here, I have an invisible one, but the circle is there and I just want to fill it in to make it look like I didn't forget about it, right? Okay, with that, can I find my x-intercept now? If I say that y is equal to zero, what's my x gonna be? X is equal to negative two. And that's gonna be my x, my x intercept. Oops, sorry, forgot it was not on the screen there. Basically, we're saying that the ordered pair for this is negative two over five, which is between neg negative one and zero, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's close to one half, but not exactly. And in this case, my y is zero. What's left? Parallel and? Okay. What do we know about parallel lines? Same slope, different y intercept. So this is going to say negative 5x. What do you guys want to make the y intercept? It can't be negative 2, it can be anything else. What'd you say? Sure. Okay, and I'm going to use my sticky to do the perpendicular just so we have some note taking space. <clears throat> it's going to be y is equal to, I have to find the negative reciprocal of negative 5. I'm sorry, not negative reciprocal, opposite reciprocal. I was writing a negative number as I spoke. <laughs> What's the opposite of negative? Positive. And what's the reciprocal of 5? So this slope is going to be 1 over 5x. And remember, we can test if it's opposite reciprocal by multiplying them. And if we end up with negative 1, it's opposite reciprocal. What y-intercept do you guys want to put? I'm going to put plus 18. I don't know. I don't even know if that'll work. I don't. 
but that's okay. We're basically saying we know what the slope has to be. That's the important part. I think it would work, but it's going to be way up here on my graph, and I can't even really test it. Now nah, that's not going to be perpendicular. Perpendicular, it's going to have to be over here. It'll end up being lower. I'm going to say, yeah, I mean, you picture this has to be perpendicular. It's not going to cross as high up as I thought. It's probably like plus three. I'm guessing plus three. <clears throat> the main thing I would be looking at on here is, is your slope per, uh, the opposite reciprocal, right? <clears throat> okay, so with that, you guys have got a lot of stuff to practice. You can work on finishing these. They are a fantastic review of all four sections of the book. You can work on the word problems. I'll tell you what, my brain is not into them today and I've had trouble with them. I think it's because it's Friday. You might want to give yourself a break as well. Yes. You could work on the practice test, right? <laughs> you can go back and watch videos. You can do any of the notes you never finished or something, okay? 